So welcome to episode one of Social Investing, where we leverage the power of the internet for professional grade investing data and insights. So the first company I'm going to analyze is TSIA. Uh, the company's new name is going to be called Latch when they convert. Uh, the category, it's an early pre-profit company. It does have revenues, fast growing, and the risk is high. However, I do think this is one of the best companies you can invest in today if you want a company um, to get in on the ground floor. So let's go over Latch. So we make spaces better, places to live, work, and visit. Latch is a full building operating system of products, software, and services designed to make every building better. So what Latch is, is an operating system and also a door, lock, wireless sensor, Internet of Things system for apartment buildings, homes, um, mostly geared at landlords. So the ticker symbol is TSIA. They are a hardware and a software as a service company, which I like because the company gets a cash injection by selling the hardware. And then they also get a monthly reoccurring revenue for the lifetime of the owner. Disclaimer, this is for education and entertainment purposes only. Do your own research. Projections are my opinion and the opinion of the companies. So where did I find this company? Obviously, social investing. I'm following some great investors on multi-platforms, email, uh, Twitter, YouTube. And this one came from Chamath Palihapitiya, who said, this is the best SaaS company I've ever seen or invested in. Um, and as a public company, it will per comp the table chart below. So because it's a public company, he's saying that he thinks this will be the third best company when it comes to um, net revenue growth risk multiples. So you're seeing Snowflake, which was one of the biggest IPOs last year um, at 71x. And they're saying this one here will be at 21x multiples. And then you have Twilio, Frog, Splunk, Datadog, Zoom. These are all great companies. Um, DocuSign, CrowdStrike. So if this is true, you are holding one of the best companies in the world when it comes to SaaS and one of the fastest growing. It's growing at 154% per year. That's crazy. So just a brief overview of what I'm going to present. Um, what is Latch? Who their strategic partners are? The one pager? key metrics and info, future growth, and the stock. So Latch is a building operating system consisting of door locks, intercoms, and guest management systems, along with package management systems for um, Amazon. Smart home sensors. So this could also include security, lighting, uh, leak detectors, and more which could be a huge uh, reoccurring revenue, maybe even alarm systems. Then you have cellular connectivities, which would be charged to the landlord and seamless resident experience, which would include com community management and resident onboarding. So those are the things we just went over. So if there's anything in this presentation that you'd want to look more into, um, just pause it and or take a screenshot and then you can do some research. So uh, a cool thing that I saw is insurance. If they're able to take existing customers that they've sold the hardware and then sell them insurance, like landlord's insurance, tenant's insurance, that would be a great thing to add on and that would generate a lot of revenue. So um, this company is already operating in the States. They have um, customers and from the data, they're, they are collecting data on their customers. And the average customer is using the operating system 4.6 times a day to unlock, share access, use the smart home features and intercom, um, the other services, and then insurance policies and internet will also be joined in. Okay, so let's move on to strategic partners. So Tishman Spire is a real estate investment company that owns apartment buildings across the world. Uh, in over plus 20 companies and 100 plus million square feet. So 
they have announced that they are leading the pipe. They purchased, they liked this software. They're a customer of this software. The software company needed money, right? It was losing money. So they said, we'll invest money into you and bring you public. Chamath, Polyhapatia, also joined them. But uh, Tishman Spire is the leader. So as you can see, they're now backed by um, a 1,200 employee company with 167 million square feet. So anything that they buy or build, they're probably going to be using Latch as um, their platform. So this helps increase and guarantee um, the steadiness of sales. So as we said, he already said this is the best SaaS company he's ever um, let or invested in. So who is Shamath? Why is this relevant? So Chamath Palihapitiya was a Facebook chief of user growth from 2005 to 2011. So he was responsible for getting more customers for Facebook. Why is that important? He has the specific knowledge on the best platform in the world for marketing, other than Google, right, to grow users. So under his charge, Facebook's monthly user count grew by 150 fold from 5.5 million customers. That's really early to 845 million customers by the end of 2011. He decided he did not like the way Facebook was um, using the data and he left the company. However, his gift was some shares of Facebook where he got close to a billion dollars. So with his money, he founded Social Capital with an idealistic mission to advance humanity by solving the world's hardest problems according to his firm's website. So latch is a problem in the world right now because um, we spend too much on things like keying um, we're wasting time when like i used to be a, a leasing agent for a large company and you have thousands of keys and um, when leasing agents leave and they have access to the keys it's a security issue so um, this is helping solve a lot it's helping solve security it's helping solve efficiency and it's helping um, just make your life better so I like this investment. So what is social capital and what is special about them? Um, they're a VC capital, but they use data, right, to invest. So if they have invested in a company, it's not just a hunch. It's not just a gut feeling. They are using data, which I like um, because the data doesn't lie. You know, it can be skewed, but the data is over time. It should be able to perform better than a human when it talks, when it comes to um, picking investments. So, um, social capital, they've invested in Slack, SurveyMonkey, you know, Facebook as, um, some other things. And over the past eight years, they've seen their investment returns of 1800% according to Shamath in comparison to Warren Buffett In Warren Buffett's first eight years, he did a 1200% return. So let's see the data that they collected. Like, let's see how good the data and research is that they, they have. So we take a look at the one pager from Chamath's tweet, right? So the macro data, real estate is the largest asset class in the world. So why not have something that everyone uses as your customer base? There's 47 million rental homes, 32 million multifamily apartments, and 15 million single family homes. So the US alone, represents a $54 billion annual market, right? And they're competing with other people, but that's a huge market to have. Then there's 93 million apartments in Europe, which is a $90 billion annual market. So you have $150 billion of uh, annual revenue to capture. So this is like 10, 20, 30 years um, that this company can grow for if they're not disrupted. So the qualitative, the quality of latch. So they're providing an operating system, smart access, delivery and guest management, you know, latch cameras, delivery assistant, uh, home sensors, supports thermostats, lighting, leak, detent leak detectors, connectivity, bringing internet access and charging for that, uh, the residential experience. Now, already this is crazy when it comes to um, property internet of things. One in 10 multifamily apartments in the U.S. were built using latch devices as of 2019. That is amazing. Uh, seven out of the 10 largest developers are customers already. So you already have built-in growth. As the customers grow, 
your sales grow. Um, the sales cycle provides strong line of sight. So when they're signing an intention to purchase, you know, 400, 1,000, 10,000 latch things, they're doing it 12 to 18 months before it's delivered and installed. So you can actually see, you can predict the future a little bit better unless they cancel, right? So I like that. Um, and then the use of latch can have a 200 to $500 increase in revenue per apartment while reducing the expenses to the landlord from 100 by 100 to $300 per year per apartment. That's millions of dollars over a portfolio, right? So once installed, um, it's more expensive for clat latch clients to churn. So it's making it sticky. Once you have this at $400 per unit times a thousand units, you're not going to want to pay $400,000 to leave. So that's why this is a great product um, to be investing in. That's why it's my number one pick when it comes to speculative plays. So the quantitative um, five-year return rate of 106% per year projected from 2020 to 2024. Can't be mad at that. Even if it's half of that, you're going to be in good places. 2024 revenue of 600 million. That's the projection. Um, it's best in class SAS, 154 net dollar retention, 100% gross dollar retention. Um, 97% of customers prepay for the full software agreement. That's unbelievable. So imagine a customer coming to you and saying, I need this for six years and I'm going to pay you all in cash right now. Unbelievable, right? So, um, and the total enterprise value of a billion dollars after the deal. So that's the deal there. Now, when you talk about $600 million in revenue, Zoom, did $600 million in revenue this year, and at their multiples, they were valued at $100 billion. So um, in five years, if you could see a company go from 300 or from $1 billion to $100 billion, that's 100x. Um, but I'm not expecting that. I'm just looking for you know a smaller return of, of 10x. So that's the data um, and the opinion of social capital that they have collected on this company, which um, with the social investing you know, ideal, why should we go and do some crazy um, over the top investigations when the data is being provided for us? Now, obviously this data could be a lie, but I believe in the data right now, right? So we are leveraging the power of the internet and that's the information we've gotten so far. So now we have some information from the company. So what the company is saying is We've already went over the rental home. So the key metrics. So they've already booked $167 million in 2020 in revenue, up 50%. Zero customers have canceled their contract. 100% um, dollar gross retention. The lifetime value of a customer to the acquisition ratio is 6.8x. And 97% of the customers prepay the full six-year contract on day one. I'm actually going to buy more shares after reading this. I can't believe this. So um, $167 million. So this company doesn't have to collect. There's not very much collections going on. People are paying cash up front. They need the software, right? They need the software. They need the, the hardware. They're just putting it in the cost of their um, build, most likely, and rolling that into their mortgage. So um, I love this company now from reading more about this, but... Uh, They've never turned a customer and they continue to grow. Zero customer churn since 2017. Uh, so that's three years of the customers enjoying uh, what they want and because it's it's hard to, to change. So now let's go over the bot deal. So the pipe transaction is when you take a company that is already public on the stock market and you accelerate an IPO by that company already on the stock market purchasing um, a, a private company and turning it into a public company. So they're getting 450 million of cash from the pipe and then 190 from commitments before. So they're going to have a really nice balance sheet. Um, they have no debt. Basically they have $5 million in debt, $500 million in cash. Um, and then enterprise value of a billion. And then they're rolling over equity 
and the TSIA cash held in trust, which is great. So $300 million will be held in trust and then a pipe investment. So this company is extremely low risk when it comes to debt and high growth. That's exactly what I like. So um, now when you look at the projections, booked revenue, $167 million. Now, two years from now, they're saying $600 million and we already went over. Zoom's worth $100 billion. Um, that's its crazy valuation. So this company, I imagine if we could just get to, to $10 billion, that's a 20x return, right? So now we're sitting at 2025 at $1.7 billion um, of revenue. And if we look at the net revenue, the net revenue is 30% in 2025 so those are really good margins um, they're expecting 65 percent growth per year and then they're going to move to europe as well so the stock my acquisition strategy i already have shares of this company um, i bought around uh, 12 to 13 dollars um, so my acquisition strategy is to just i'm going to keep buying every month probably for the next two years unless this stock shoots up you know, crazy and preferably under $12 at a $455 million valuation. And I'm going to hold for five plus years and my target return is about 10 X at 10 X. I'll probably take some profits, uh, but I'll keep holding this for as long as possible because I know this is going to grow. Um, construction needs to happen at a rapid pace. If you know what is going on in real estate, um, there's housing crises everywhere. There's not enough homes and there's too many people looking for homes. So, that plays into the favor of the growth of this company. So right now, if you were to buy it uh, Friday, it was $14.60. The net asset value of the original deal was at $10. So um, everyone else got in at $10 and you have to pay 46%, but I think that there'll be opportunities to purchase the dips. If not, I'm going to dollar cost average. So um, yeah. That concludes my presentation on Latch. I believe this is going to be um, a revolutionary um, investment. Um, it's very simple. It's an understandable business. You have the hardware component. You have the software component. You have the great leadership. You have the real estate um, built-in sales with the partner that acquired the company. Hopefully, they don't try to make it exclusive to their buildings to make their buildings cooler. Um, like the way that PayPal and eBay were exclusively locked to each other for a long time. Hopefully they're open to selling to everyone and anyone. Um, and then you have the software as a service. So it's $5 per door mechanism um, per month for the software. And that helps you run your whole business. So in theory, um, a landlord with a lot of units, if they install this, they should actually have more efficiency in their building and need less labor. So that is the value proposition of Latch, and that is why I'm purchasing this company. So there you go. Um, and then if you have any questions, just leave some questions down in the bottom. If you like this information, please like the video and share it with friends. Um, and we're going to be going over, um, hopefully I'm going to do a company a week until I've got through my whole portfolio. So this is uh, episode one of social investing. Thank you very much.